If you want to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, even if your PC doesn't meet the requirements, I'll show you a simple trick to do it. No USB drive, no formatting. First, open Google. Type Download Windows 11. Now click on the first link. Here on Microsoft's website, scroll down until you find the section that says Download Disk Image ISO. Click here and select Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO, then click Confirm. Next, choose your language. I'll select English United States, then click Confirm. Now, click on 64-bit download to start downloading the ISO file. After the download is complete, right-click the ISO file. Select Extract Files. Click OK. I'm using WinRAR for this step. If you don't have WinRAR yet, just search on Google for Download WinRAR. Open the first website. Then, click here to download the 64-bit version. After the download is complete, open the installer and follow the simple installation steps. Once the files are extracted, go to your desktop, right-click, choose New, and then Text Document. Now, open Notepad and type the following command, setup.exe space slash product server. I'll leave this command in the description so you can copy it easily. Then click File, then Save As. Go to the folder where you extracted the Windows 11 ISO files. Open the folder, and in the File Name field, type update.bat. It must look exactly like this then click Save. Close Notepad. Open the folder where the files were extracted. Now, double-click the file update.bat that we just created. Click Yes to confirm. And that's it. Here's the Windows 11 installer. From this point, you don't need to worry. The setup won't block the process even if your PC doesn't meet the requirements. And here's a quick tip. If it doesn't work the first time, just try again. Sometimes it might not go through on the first attempt. Now, click Next, accept the terms, and choose what you want to keep. Keep personal files, apps, and settings, keep personal files only, or nothing for a clean installation. I'll choose to keep everything, since I want to continue with all my files and apps from Windows 10. Then click Next, and wait for the update process to begin. Next, click Install. The whole process may take several minutes or even hours, and your PC will restart several times, as it says here. And done! After your PC restarts, you'll already be in the installation phase. Once it's finished, just wait a little longer for Windows 11 to load completely. And there we go. We're now running Windows 11. To confirm the version, go to Settings, then System, scroll down and click on About. At the bottom, you'll see your Windows version. In this case, it's 25H2. Now, let's check for updates by clicking Windows Update. Then click Check for Updates to keep your system safe and up to date. And that's it! Did this trick work for you? Let me know in the comments!